Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the present tense to ask yes-no questions. Let's begin with what you already know, how to ask a yes-no question in Spanish in the present tense. In Spanish, it is very easy. You simply use the exact same sentence as an affirmative declaration, except you add question marks. Here are some examples. Affirmative sentence. Ella lee el periódico cada día. Yes, no question. Ella lee el periódico cada día. Affirmative sentence. Ellos siempre juegan tenis los domingos. Yes, no question. Ellos siempre juegan tenis los domingos. Affirmative sentence. Él habla alemán. The yes, no question. Él habla alemán. Unfortunately, it's not that easy in English. So how do we form a yes, no question in the present tense in English? In English, you always need to start the question with one of these two words, do or does. Let me repeat the rule again. You must always start the question with do or does. Let's look at some examples. Affirmative sentence. She reads the newspaper every day. The yes, no question. Does she read the newspaper every day? Affirmative sentence. We play in the park every day. The yes, no question. Do we play in the park every day? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify verbs in the present tense in yes, no questions. Okay, so how do you know when to start the yes, no question with do or does? The answer is pretty simple. If the subject is he, she, or it, you always use the word does. If the subject is I, you, we, or they, you use the word do. Here are some examples. Do I want to get a job? Do you speak German? Do we go to the movies every weekend? Do they play baseball? Does he always walk to school? Does she eat lunch in her house? Does it look like a nice day today? Did you notice how we do not add an S to the end of the verb in yes-no questions like we did in affirmative sentences for the subjects he, she, and it? The verb is always the same. It never changes in yes-no questions. The only word that changes is the auxiliary word, do or does. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the present tense in yes-no questions. Congratulations! Now you know how to ask questions in the present tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!